Welcome to System View. In this tutorial video, we'll be using the ARF link to bring ARF system effects into Baseband DSP using the W1719 ARF design kit and the Spectrasys engine. In this example, we actually have two different kinds of schematics. One is a data flow schematic where we have a link level simulation that has bits that frames uh, bits up into QPSK, runs them through an air interface, which we'll drop into here, and then demodulates them. Um, and gets bits back. This air interface is a very simple RF system. It's a transmit PA with a link, uh, an antenna link with quite a bit of loss, and then a low noise amp and some filtering. We take this, this Spectrasys circuit from the RF design kit and we bring it into the, the data flow simulation and hit simulate. And you can see a constellation and the output um, spectrum. If we enable our tune window, which you can do on your system using view tune, we can change the gain of that amplifier and watch the the um, the spectral regrowth and the degradation in the EVM. We can also change perhaps uh, the filter bandwidth of the uh, one of the one of the filters from five megahertz down to two, and you can see the effect of EVM even farther. There are a couple of things that are interesting about this example that I just want to point out real quick. One is that this is uh, about a megahertz wide at 1800 megahertz. So we're using an envelope type system. Uh, if, you were to use, if you were to drag along uh, a spice level simulation, you'd have to sample out to about 10 gigahertz to get the harmonics and therefore be sampling at about 10 picosecond steps and it would take a long time. The other thing is that in this uh, data flow simulation, it, it calculates an equivalent um, network automatically for you using um, some automatic parameters. If you'd like to set those parameters, you have an opportunity to overcome the defaults, and, but it, it's profiling the, uh, the circuit for both uh, frequency dependence and power dependence. I'd like to just summarize by saying why use this link? What's it good for? And it basically pulls together baseband and RF design flows. If you're an existing Spectrasys user, if you're used to the RF tools, what you've been waiting for is modulation effects and coded air, uh, air vector magnitude and bit error rate and to interact with comms test equipment, and this lets you do that. You can also wrap um, actual baseband um, IP around the raw RF hardware, raw analog hardware to see you know, kind of where you are before you even begin to implement the RF system. If you're a baseband DSP user, means you can bring an additional project uh, RF project detail into your baseband flow without actually dragging around a full RF design flow. And you can avoid brute force spice analog simulations common in other platforms by staying behavioral and by using complex envelope. And there's orders of magnitude benefits to that. And basically, you can virtualize your RF. If you're a system architect, it helps you conceive and partition from a tops down way both the baseband and the RF uh, phi, which allows you to drive um, design margin out of a project. Also, you can stay um, with System View in, in touch with the project on both sides of the RF and baseband design flows and keep incorporating project updates to keep an eye on the project. And you're basically using the same platform to test and verify um, for true RF baseband um, concurrent model based design. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial and good luck with System View.